I am on an extremely tight schedule today. Not wasting time. My hair is not even done right. Hidden cardio for Tuesday. Last night, <laughs> I had planned to like wake up early and do cardio. That didn't happen. I have a minute left. Yay! Done with cardio for today. Oh, that was a sweaty session. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. It's like as if I just went to the sauna. Hello. I'm trying to head out because I need to run over for something with mix. Work again. Work again. But before that, I need to talk about my own, okay? It is how you top up a card. Yes, I've already done that. I think I'll put in about 10 bucks. I am done with work finally for today. Heading over to one of my favorite places to do grocery shopping. I just need to get a couple of things because my sister and I were working on some new healthy desserts, which I will share with you. It is a nutty day. Nutty, like nutty day, nutty day. I'm getting, I got this so that I can bake it in the oven. Usually I'll go to the baking store to get this, but I want to share something with you. Back then when I was just doing my own nutrition and programming and didn't really know how to do the whole if it fits your macros thing. I used to drink a whole box of this in one day. Little did I know that this cause my thighs to blow it up like crazy. Why? Because soy has estrogen, my dear ladies. If, I mean, sure, maybe you don't eat it on, um, if you don't eat it all the time, then it's okay, but I was drinking this daily, nearly daily, crazy. Got a face mask going on, thanks to the overnight gel facial mask you can't see it because it's really a gel like um, texture this is from astute clinic prepping for show it's already 12 14 and i'm gonna hit to bed soon this is like the earliest ever ever magnesium foot soak this is to ease any aching muscles i have and also for my body to absorb the magnesium my tablets are running out I already made my purchase online and just waiting for them to arrive. 12 something. I'm trying to do my prep, but it's nonsense because there is nothing interesting at all to talk about. Wednesday, I'm talking to you through a locker because the music is blasting loud and I want my voice to be clear. <laughs> so science people. Anyway, today is a little bit stressful because um, other than work, I did not manage to do my fasted cardio in the morning because I would be stuck in the gym for 40 minutes despite planning everything through ways. And I just hate getting stuck in a gym. Who likes to get stuck in a gym? It's a waste of time, waste of life. And things were pretty hectic because um, at work I was scheduling a number of things. I was replying back a number of people via uh, emails, WhatsApp, because I'm preparing for a couple of shoots which I'm really grateful for. There is one shoot which is for Astro where they're going to feature this competition that I'm going to be doing which is great so that more people are aware about it. Hopefully more girls will enter and we're going to be showing a few posing turns, how it's done, so that's cool. The other thing I need to prepare for is my own personal photo shoot and then I just got called for another shoot. This is by Women's Health. Yay! Women's Health! and they would like to do a special video shoot. I'm not gonna reveal it, but so all that needs arranging, planning, and replying back and forth. I tell you, replying back and forth on the phone is one of the most stressful things ever, even though you're not doing anything, but just sitting like this and doing that, really, like really. This is why sometimes you just wanna throw this thing away. It helps you, but it also gives you like one of the biggest headaches in the world. Okay, so that's enough of my ramble of what's been going on for the past uh, six hours and now i'm gonna hit hems because later after this i gotta head to another location do cardio and another location because we're doing some merchandise giveaways for guardians of the galaxy
here, but time is not on my side today. So, 45 minutes, pretty good, but I would have preferred an hour. As usual, cardio, I'm always watching vlogs. And spoke to Sharon from Train ASP. She, she's one girl that you need to meet because she's very inspirational. She lost so much weight. And she was one kind of very big girl. Shout out to Sharon. Okay, like a woman lift, I need to bathe and head over to do work. First time I met MBO at the Salt Lake. Salt Lake is like a huge mall. All of a sudden I just popped out of nowhere in this area, which is usually not a place that I would come to, but now I have good reason. To. And we are going to be watching Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Say hi to Jane from Walt Disney Company. Do I say Walt Disney or Walt Disney Company? Walt Disney Company. Walt Disney Company. And that's Benjamin. He hooks me up all the time in movies every once in a while at Sunway Pyramid. And my girlfriend, Danny. Oh. And is this your hubby? Yep. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. By the way, they, these two, they're getting married in May. May, correct? Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, I can't be there because it's work. <laughs> Seriously. And I want to say, uh, Jane, they're giving me this. Say hi to Baby Groot. Oh my gosh. So cute. Oh, I'm sorry, Baby Groot. Wait, wait, wait. I, I will put you down properly. From Hasbro, right? And Jane, you're telling me that he will dance to, my, to music? Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> awesome! Thanks a lot! How do I... Have you seen me? I can't contain anything! I have no idea. When you were in office, I'm just calling you like... There you go. Dances to your music. Oh my gosh, that's it. I'm bringing this to the station tomorrow. This is so gonna be on. Oh my gosh. Jane's so cute. She brought something else. There's another prize. Oh my gosh! It is da 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 And there's my name on it! It's right next to Chris Pratt. Hi Chris Pratt. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, what's inside? What's inside? Oh, there's more goodies. It's like a Guardians Galaxy kit. Oh my god. Oh wow. This is so old school. Totally old school. A tape recorder. Tape player. Wait, can I record stuff with it? Uh, uh, this one. It's, it. it's functional. It's functional. Oh my gosh. It's so cool. So cool. Here are the tickets. Head into our hall. This cinema is really big. A hall 6. Say hi. It's really big. It's like, ooh, so bright. Right, Zeddy? I'm bright like a diamond. <laughs> I want food. Sadly, I'm like, no, can't. I had more sense. I decided not to stay for the movie. See, my tongue is not even <laughs> rolling plop plop <laughs> properly. Yeah, I need my rest. And plus, I'm already tired. I don't want to burn myself out anymore. Even though friends were like, "Come on, Lenora, stay for a short while. It's okay. I got baby Groot to keep me company. I'll go home." Okay, there'll be other movies. And hey, I can watch this again. I can watch it with my boyfriend. <sighs> it's 7.05 in the morning. In my head, I'm just thinking every single time, how can I make it more convenient for myself when I train so that I can miss out on traffic and get to work on time? What can I do in between? so that I can save up more time. Thankfully, this was not such a bad jam. 30 minutes, it's okay. It's still, it's still acceptable. 
Oh dear. Done. Get ready for work. I think I could deal with this. Where I do this and then prepare for work at the same time. Prepping for work. Okay. It's Thursday. I brought baby Groot to the studio. He's been keeping me company and my friend here has not stopped taking photos uh, since look at like that. easily 10 it's minutes. So cute, Groot. She's so in cute, love. So cute. How am I, Raquel? Where am I at? Am I going okay? Yeah, she did well today. Even the photo turn look nice, look feminine, all very smooth. Okay, I go one more week. Can one more week. Can of course. Just do it. Okay, no okay. matter how. Okay. Right. Rock on the stage, Lenora. By the way, my coach is also competing. Not for this, but she's competing in surfing, right? Surfing, we surf in Korea. She's gonna go, and that's why she looks really tan. Okay, this she this looks like pretty tan now. She says I need to get darker than this. How much darker? So when I go to the tanning salon, what do I say? I want number five or I want number nine. No, that would match for you. Oh, they'll okay. vary. Okay, all right. Yeah. I've never gone and done tanning before, so she's like the tanning queen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Posing practice is done and I'm here to support my friend's virtual rea reality theme park launch. So that's why I'm gonna be at Majestic. But looky looky, I have another person who's going to be competing for Battle of the Freaks. Hi. The last person, this is Tegu, and he, I, I would like to say I, I can show you his arms and where he's at right yeah, now. Where is it right now? <laughs> yeah, exactly, he's in the suit and you really want to train, right? I really want to train now. Is this your first time competing? Yes, it's my first time competing. How is the process so far? Oh, it's really hard, but I'm, I'm going through it, yeah. What's the hardest thing? The food or the balance of work and training? The balance of food. Work and training and also the food. Because everything's going low, my cup is very low right now. The lowest I've ever been in my whole life, I think. Right. Yeah, okay. so. Well, don't worry, we have nine days left. <laughs> nine more days. Nine left. days left, and then after that, we can cheat and Pizza, whatever. Cake, brownies, everything. Yes! Oh my god! We still want a freaking cake now. But good luck, man. Okay. Morning! Yay! I'm making it for fasted cardio and I better hurry because I want to do 30 minutes. Oh wow! I think I could get used to this whole waking up early thing in the morning to do cardio. It's not too bad and I feel very awake. At this stage now, peak week, it's important for this, the mind, to be really strong. Let's do a quick check. Yes! Yes! Definitely see things coming out. Yes! Ooh. My face needs a bit of loving. In fact, my whole body needs a bit of loving. I need a massage so bad. Here to do a facial at my favorite facial spot. And the girls can already see me. I miss Dr. Jason and Jane. Yesterday I was freaking out because I, I met friends I've not seen in a long time and they didn't say anything like, oh, you've lost weight and stuff like that. I really should be bothered, but I was. But today, dog, <laughs> and a still clinic, but say it again, say it again. You've lost weight. Yay! Significantly too. <laughs> and you know why? 
because Doc has the eye. He's got the eye. <laughs> Other people can't tell because it's, it's okay. I'm, I don't have a massive transformation, but I think certain areas definitely can be seen. But Doc, let's talk about my skin. Since I've not been sleeping right, stress, and then with the lack of, you're saying why well, you can see the lines where here and some of the um, aging lines is showing. Uh, okay. Perhaps you could tell this, this yeah. is actually getting a little bit pronounced. Okay. And as well as this line as well. Okay. So try not to lose too much. Um, uh -huh. Yeah. So what you want to do is, uh, right after the competition, just lay off a little, yeah, let everything settle down. And come in for facials. Yeah, okay. that certainly. Yeah. yeah, come in for facials. Check them out at Stu Clinic. <laughs> it's like a Christmas tree on my nose. I can't take a photo of this. <laughs> She took off her glasses just for this. <laughs> what what I think is so cute is that sometimes I don't know who follows me, but thank you, Paige. She even knew that I went for a facial. <laughs> Not a stalker. Very cute stalker. Are you single? Yeah. You guys, she's single. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's waiting for her brother who's also hustling over there. Love people. What's your brother's name? Uh, Junyin. Hey, Junyin, say hi. <laughs> We'll keep it up, okay? All right, bye. This is now my fifth liter of water. I've got three more liters to go. And what's so awkward is that my lips are still dry despite me drinking so much water. It's late at night and I am forcing down this. While I'm doing that, I decided to check out my buddy's vlog. Buddies. Okay, let me just fast forward a bit. Let me. Yeah! Yeah! Look at that. It's so beautiful. He's breaking. Oh my gosh, I've got goosebumps. I'm about to cry. Never mind, if I look at it hard enough, this will taste like that. Eight days out and water manipulation has begun. The process when I first saw it, I gotta tell you, not easy. It's very painful. It's very, very painful. I have to drink eight liters of water. There is no more carbs now. No rice cakes, no berries, no nuts. All I'm having is fish, very specific veggies, and coconut oil. It's Saturday, the day after the first round of water manipulation. I did not make it to... I didn't make it to 8 liters, which is bad. I need to stick to the plan. It's really hard drinking out 8 liters of water, but you just have to do it. No excuses. But okay, I woke up this morning and oh my gosh, oh my gosh, okay, I have to show you this. I saw abs popping out even more. I look, I felt so freaking lean. And this line kept, like, where is it? I had it just now, that line. It was coming out, whoa. I've never had that line before. So wow, you imagine after one day of water manipulation, if I stuck to it properly, my only concern for this whole process is my coach did say that there may be some problems of um, going to the toilet, constipation issues, but it's part of the process. This whole thing is a process. <laughs> I know, but it just sounds a bit freaky. I weighed myself and according to my home weighing scale at this time in the morning, I'm 55.5 kg. Yes! I made a really, really nice drop since the last time I weighed in, which was, I think, 56.6. And another thing which I didn't get to share this week, all of a sudden, my period came after a week off. Yeah, so my period is K2. 
came twice this month. My body is in shock from all the training because it's now twice a day, sometimes even three times a day because I'm splitting my cardio when I don't have time um, which is why I've been waking up early in the morning so at least I can get 30 minutes in and it's better because like if I have to do an hour straight it's so boring came in the mail. The other portion, part of my sports theme wear, the American football. I kind of wish it was, no, I do wish that it was an Under Armour football. And this is a lot bigger than I anticipated. It's pretty big. But oh well, this will do, which means I have to start practicing with this. I tried just now and I need to figure out how to grip onto it. And it's about one something in the morning. I'm still trying to shove down the 8 liters of water yesterday. I did not make it, so I'm making an effort to... This is already my 7th liter, and I'm slowly doing it. While doing that, I'm getting some Fit Bite videos out, some workout videos out. And as you can see, I was trying to shove down tilapia and kale. And while I'm at it, I'm going to soak my feet with magnesium flakes. Why waste the time, right? But I do want to sleep. Sunday, done with radio show. Well, what's with the hair? <laughs> I am going to go get some coffee. And how am I feeling? <laughs> I can't deny, I do feel a little bit miserable. And that's mostly because the, the only carbs I'm getting is from like cucumbers, alfalfa sprouts, and celery. I've now added at least celery into it, plus white fish. So let's do this, let's get some coffee. Three shots, three shots. Stocking up on fish and this is going to be for the rest of the day if I'm going to be out. I have no reason for this, but it's cheaper. It's usually 50 ringgit and this is 13 ringgit now, so I'm like, hell yes, I'm going to eat this after my comp. Yes. It has come down to the end of the vlog, guys. <laughs> it is peak week. And the minute this video goes up, it's exactly... I think by the time it goes out, it'll be four days to comp. Oh my god. Four days. I can't believe this. Exactly today, 1st of May, it has been four months since I started on this journey to comp. Four months. Because I started seriously eating clean on the 1st of January 2017. Wow. I tell you. This entire week uh, has been very reflective for me and I'm going to add in a lot more for my final vlog. I'm actually still contemplating whether I should put a vlog on Monday or should I put one a bit earlier because I know some of you would love to see what happens on stage and what happens at the back. I think that may end up as a video by itself because everything that's happening on contest day. Anyway. One of the things that I have to say I'm so appreciative of during this whole process. A lot of people don't understand why I'm doing this. But not only is it for me, whoever that's watching, I hope that you also learn that anything is possible. Like I never thought that getting into this shape that I am now would be possible. I never really thought that I'd be able to do twice. Um, two times a day of training, which I still think is crazy. I never thought we would down like eight liters of water. Even having one liter of water in my body was already a, a feat. To eat that clean for so long, wow. 
and I want to tell you the one person who I can cry is my mom okay she has been so supportive she's like the best person in the world I mean just look at what she helped made for me okay because we're trying to figure out she's been trying to, she's like my biggest support system for my food I know some people may not have their moms to cook for them and I'm very fortunate that I do she made this which is usually I'm buying frozen fish but today she bought fresh fish and she weighed everything out for me so I'm gonna be eating this later I tell you like I said the this final week of comp is a reflective one a very reflective one on the things that have happened so far I'm not gonna show you my body because I feel quite bloated with all the water but you can see that here is coming up quite nicely okay excuse me now I need to go and drink two more layers of this before time is out and I need to get some rest because I need to do cardio tomorrow and hopefully my foot will not be so bad okay all right guys thank you so much for joining me on my journey it's getting so exciting it really is and I'm very excited more so for the piece of chocolate which is right now in my room that humongous Ferrara Rocher Okay, I'll update you guys again. Till then, I want to say thank you so much. Do find me on my social media if you enjoyed this entire series. And like I always say, may the gains be forever in your favor.